here. Bit of rubbish. And got the current knob here. Ten turn knob, so setting for ten percent, sort of one knob, one turn, and hundred percent is ten turns. And you got your standard laser switches, which are pretty standard for all these units. Um, on off switch, emergency stop. Emergency stop just shuts up everything, leaves the lights on. It's kind of handy. Um, I've got the uh, air pump and the um, exhaust fan turned off because they're reasonably noisy. Um, down here is the added laser combiner and oh, it's locked at the moment. Hang on. Comes down to that little mirror there and I have a fly in my machine. There you see if this thing will focus. Oh, it's not very good on there. I'll grab a, something white. And you can see the red dot there. So anywhere I move it, it's exactly where it's going to be. And if I powered it up, that's where it would hit straight away. Um, what else? The um, standard unit has this pull out tray. to that and I found that really really quite annoying um, so I've actually uh, I don't know if I've got enough light under here out of a stepper motor that goes through my, my um, mount that I've put on um, when the stepper motor's not working I just turn it by hand so uh, I've got the fully wired up yet because the um, stepper motor is slightly too small but uh, I'll get to that um, yeah as you can see from my first video the light was smashed so I just replaced it uh, with some other lights and I've actually put one at the front as well I found that a lot better for lighting the whole unit up because when this one's off at the front shadow on the front as you can see there that's not too bad with the light on straight above my head but um, when I had it off I couldn't really see too much so put that on lights it up nicely um, little addition I had to make was uh, this is a bit light so I've added a bolt and put it with tape um, comes with a standard laser it has a little mount that sits there that I ripped off once I got the beam combiner working properly, I found I didn't need it. Um, yeah, um, yeah. There's inside here, a bit of extra wire I've put in, which is for the stepper motor. Uh, we'll get to that eventually. Um, so down in here, there's the retina card there. Focus. Uh, that card there is the Mark III card, so you can pull that out, go parallel to Mark III, and run with that. That one there is the Retina card with the um, micro USB port on it. Um, quite handy. Um, what else? I showed the laser in the other video in the unboxing. Um, yeah, good unit, quite happy with it. Um, getting the beam combiner working wasn't that easy, um, but once I got it working, it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, um, I think full spec is um, selling at spec separate now. Um, they accidentally put mine in, so quite happy about that. Um, but yeah, if you if you are ordering one, I suggest you get it because it makes things a hell of a lot easier uh, when you're just trying to find where you want to position your work so you can see that there yeah, you can just see the red dot uh, yeah anyway, I suggest you buy one and uh, have a nice day and that's what I forgot to mention was uh, the um, gas strata I've added um, 
without it this lid's quite large and um, with it comes down nice and soft a little bit of a tap at the end um, when that came down when I didn't uh, have the, the strut I actually put the laser out of alignment um, so yeah so $45 for a hardware store and um, absolutely lovely so, yeah. down underneath um, I've got my air compressor um, things rated at 46 dB um, so it's reasonably quiet if I turn it on it sounds quite loud there um, but compared to anything else it's quite quiet and I can put a cover over it and almost almost kill the sound fully um, here's my big white bucket of water going in there and pump down in the water um, pump came came with the unit um, but yeah they um, it came originally came with a small extraction fan um, I've gone to something a little bit bigger um, and that shoots up inside the ceiling and out through the roof um, here's the next little project that's going to happen um, cooling the water and up on the wall here I'll be running the unit for about hour and a half or so, it's 24 ambient and, and it's got up to 30 degrees so just so I can get rid of that big bucket and have a little bit less water, have a um, twin air cooled fan provides about 700 watts of cooling and the um, lasers from my calculations is producing about uh, about three to four hundred so that should be able to keep it at ambient temperature um, which in my garage is anywhere from sort of five degrees in winter to 45 in summer that's celsius so yeah 